everyone. Great to be here. I'm Jesse. I'm a jazz singer. And I'm going to tell you how music can make you and your kids smarter. Because music is an ability that is closely intertwined with all kinds of social, emotional, but also cognitive skills. Therefore, I feel music is not a luxury. Now, please raise your hand if you wish you had learned to play music when you were a kid, when you were younger. Thank you. 20% of kids learn to play music. 70% of adults wish they had. Now, these are real numbers. This is a pamphlet of an awareness campaign from an Australian arts organization, and I did some photoshopping. Now, some are calling me an idealist, and yes, in my ideal world, we would see this pamphlet. But I'm a realist, too, and I think within a few years, we can swap these numbers. So, why should we be teaching our children music? Well, because music influences the brain in a very big way. And I will give you a few examples to show this. But first, I want you to sing for me. And this is going to be very easy. This is a TED Talk. I only have one minute to teach you a little melody. So let's go. It goes like this. Two, three, four. Guys, three, four. You're going to need that later, so <laughs> please remember it. So, why, what, does, what does music do to the brain? If I click on this thing again, a very interesting video will start, and it will show a real-time brain scan of a brain listening to a piece of music it never heard before. And interestingly, this brain is actually anticipating the end of the music piece. Now pay attention to the red color, that's activeness. The end is nearing, it's nearing. A lot of brain activity, and a new music movement starts, and the brain activity lowers again. Now, in this research, they found that listening to music actually trains you to concentrate. So in a nutshell, it means it gets a bit easier to stay concentrated while listening to your boring math teacher. Now, this is when listening to music, you might think. What about playing music? Got it right here. So if you let children do a spelling test, you will actually see the ones playing an instrument have much less mistakes. It's that simple. They just have less mistakes. And these results are all corrected for social and economic statuses. Now, to me, another example. This is the most convincing research there is out there. This is a control experiment in which a number of kids is divided in a music group and a non-music group randomly. Now, after one year of music lessons, the music group has a significant higher increase in IQ than the control group. That is extraordinary. So music is important to our children's cognitive development, not even going into the social and emotional positive effects. I think I can freely say we should be using music in our education more than ever. Music is not a luxury. Now, unfortunately, a lot of parents don't know about the positive effects music can have on a children's development. And only few children really get stimulated to start picking up an instrument, to start learning to play. And that's if the parents can even afford it, because music education is getting pretty expensive. It seems to be more and more for the wealthy. And it's the others, the 70%, the majority, we have to think about. Because also to them, music is not a luxury. That's why I call for an extensive collaboration between music institutions, music professionals, and primary schools. Because together, they can provide access to music to all children. They can provide expertise to the music institution. They know how to teach children music. They could even share facilities. Why not join together in a building? Let's bring the music as close as possible to the children. And I think we all agree that children need role models. 
music educators can be really good role models. Let's let our children discover their talents. I was very lucky. I discovered my talent in primary school when a local choir recruited me. I discovered I could sing, and now I became a singer. Let's give everyone that chance. Now, in the beginning I said this is an ideal world, but actually this is the real world in Amsterdam, because Amsterdam launched a project in which, in 2013, all schools will give their children music education. And with all schools, I mean everyone, all children, one hour a week, music education um, by music professionals. So it is happening here, right here in Amsterdam. Let's make this the real world, period. So we've looked at the facts, we've looked at figures, now let's check out the great acoustics of this hall, because after all, I'm a musician, and I want you to experience the power of music too, not only listening to me talking about it. So I'm going to sing again. You need to remember the melody. Just I'll guide you through it. <laughs> Start the lights go off, and all that's left is me. Feeling empty as the air where I very soon will be. As I go higher, higher, higher than the clouds, I think about that voice of yours that I want to forget about. And they say, where the heart is but I don't feel I'm going home today they say home is where the heart is but you my dear you stole my heart away Far away from you, some turbulence I feel. I'm sure that it's you, my dear, messing with the stratosphere. All the time I look at a framed picture of the sea. The fact that I'm leaving you is too hard to bear for me. They say. Home is where the heart is, but I don't feel I'm going home today. They say home is where the heart is, but you, my dear, you stole my heart away. 